ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. Bam. Hey, kids. Welcome to the mess. Um, there's something that really bothers me. It, and it's... I don't know. It, you, I don't really watch YouTube very often um, just because I don't have time. It's not because I'm not interested. I just don't have a whole lot of time. And once a week, I try to catch up on all my buddies' flights and things like that. Um, but I see on a lot of people that do... Hang on, my camera's goofy. A lot of people that do reviews and they're always looking at trinkets and shit like this. Uh, the, the Lost Model Finder. And I'm so sick of seeing the stupid, cheap-ass shit that is advertised to people for twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, whatever it is, to find your quad if you lose it. It's a joke. That stuff's crap. Don't do it. All right. Um, I'm going to show you the best way in the world to do this. Okay. Um, for ten dollars, it's very simple. I'm going to restart this because I keep getting shade different. Is that better? Yes. Goofy. Anyway, so for 10 bucks, this is what you want to do. This works on Betaflight, Butterflight, and especially iNav, of course. Um, and iNav is what we use for GPS drones, hybrid drones, whatever else. This, this solution will work for a micro quadcopter, a mini quad, a full-size bird, an airplane, if you have a flight controller in it, um, and it's 10 bucks. So, and I have verified this. I've done it before, and I, I always thought to do this video, but I never did, but I just get so sick and tired of seeing these, these gay-ass, you know, it's like little Bluetooth things you put in your quad, and or this GPS unit that's this big you put on your quad for 50 bucks, and you have to pay an annual fee for all, this is stupid, go buy this, okay, this is a whatever that word, bite, bison, whatever, BN-180 GPS. This is a very, very tiny M is in Mary, 8N is in Nancy, which is what you always want to use, an M8N. Don't use the 7, okay? This does not have a compass in it. So those of you that want to build a GPS drone, this is not what you use. You can use this in a plane for iNav or a glider or, you know, if, if you have a flight controller. Because planes, fixed wings, don't need um, the compass and they don't even need a barometer, okay, which is pretty interesting. But anyhow, this is just, this whole tutorial is not about drones, it's about finding your fucking quad. So, first off, this is nine, $10 delivered from Banggood. I know Get FPV, I believe, or RMRC or somebody else has them, uh, and they want too much for them. They're like 15 bucks. Don't don't get them. I bought, ordered these. I ordered five of them for 10 bucks a pop. Got them in uh, four or five days. No big deal. So our weight, the only weight you're adding to your bird is five grams. Now, and ten dollars, and it's worth the five grams if you have a four hundred dollar bird. And you lose the fucker, okay? This is very, very simple to do. I took one just so I could show you guys and anybody else that's not a guy like Bardwell watching. I put one on my Griff Light. See that right there? Bam, double-sided tape. That's all you do. This is the antenna side, the clay part. Now, I could have, had I had the room in this bird, stuck it under here and it, it will receive through the frame. Um, you do have to be careful about having it completely covered with carbon fiber if you if you guys are running something like this like any type of bird that has a nylon or plastic canopy you stick that gps module on the inside right here it'll pick up beautiful carbon fiber you can try putting it underneath the underneath here but like i said i would put it under where there's at least some slots okay then all you've got to do oh i left my example in the fucking house Bam, figures. All right, we don't need it. It's very, very simple to do. All right, it comes with two harnesses. It comes with one that's got, oh, for fuck's sake, double double ends and one that has flying leads, what we call flying leads. Doesn't matter which one you use, cut them off. So what you've got um, in the description is the Banggood, um, uh, you know what, hang on. I'm gonna go get that flight control. Shit's always better with visual aid. So here we go. This was just an experimental board I was using. 
Um, I've done this a million times, but I wanted to make sure I had the process down for you guys so everybody can understand it easy. So basically what you've got, this is just an SP Racing F3 Evo that I had sitting in the drawer. Um, positive and negative are gonna go to your five volts. That's your black and red wires, okay? Then your green wire is your receive, which is gonna go to your transmit of any UART. Then your white wire is going to go to your receive, which is your transmit of the GPS, is gonna to go to the receive of any UART on your flight control. But it has to be the same UART. So if you're using UART, like in this case, it's UART three. Obviously, I don't think I need to describe that. Um, so white is your GPS transmit, green is your GPS receive, and then to the UART, they're backwards, obviously. Transmit goes to receive, receive goes to transmit. And that's what gives you your talking. The reason I hooked this up on a dummy board, oh, well, not dummy board, but, you know, experimental board, is I wanted to put it in the house. If you can get satellites in the house, it's a decent satellite. I have used GPS units that really, really, really sucked and micro ones that really, really sucked. So I was a little hesitant to buy these, but I thought, fuck it, they're 10 bucks a pop. I bought five of them just in case they're good. And they are good. I tested this in the house. Um, so basically you just boot up and I'm going to show you this right after this, this little video here, there's going to be the beta, uh, the butterfly set up butterfly or beta flights, the same thing. Um, and the one thing I did not show you in that video is if you go down on your list where your tabs are, you know, where it's got configuration set up and all that. I forgot to show you guys this. There's another section that's going to say GPS. You can click on that and see your street that you're on. Anyway, I got, 10 to 12 satellites in the house and then i hooked this up to ublocks u center which is a gps unit configurator you do not need that for this experiment at all okay and i tested basically the accuracy within the house so under the roof and this thing was accurate up to half a meter plus or minus so half a meter is a foot and a half so here's how this works the one thing, the other thing, if you guys aren't used to GPS modules, is there's called a hot time, a warm time, and a cold time. When you first fire one up, it's a, what they call a cold boot. And it actually takes a bit of time to warm up. I have some GPSs, like on EWOD, this uh, radio link, blah, 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 literally get satellites in like 12 seconds. Somebody's like, bam! The cold start is very, very fast. Okay. This one's not as fast, but it's not horrible outside. I think 25 seconds and I have eight satellites, which is pretty good. Um, but here's the trick. You're not using this for flight. You're using this to find your bird if you crash. So realistically, if that's 20 seconds, all you have to do, fire up your bird, take off and go fly. As long as you don't crash and lose it within the first 25 seconds, you're fine. So, and you're going to see DVR footage of this too. In the corners, what's going to pop up is your longitude and latitude, okay, which is the cross sections of the planets, how we map out the planet. Um, when your bird goes down, review your DVR in your goggles or whatever, and take your latitude and take your longitude of the last visual that you had and put parentheses around them. So let's just say for argument's sake, it's seven, 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 negative seven, seven, seven. So we'd put in, go to Google Maps or Google Earth, works both ways, put a parentheses and then type seven, 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 comma, negative seven, 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 parentheses, enter. And it will show you right where this thing is at within a foot and a half, okay? So you literally, as long as you've got visualization to a point, like, okay, we're flying a mile away, something happens, we blow a prop, we go down in the fucking woods, the very last split second of your DVR, look at that longitude and latitude, pop them into um, Google Maps, Google Earth, walk right to your bird, man. That's as easy as it gets. Now, for fun, not really for fun, but just to tell you guys, I have done this before and it works fucking phenomenally. I was flying, uh, but it was on iNav, but it's the same thing. We are not, again, we are not using this for any flight modes whatsoever. And don't, you'll see that in my setup video that's coming up just in a second. Um, don't use this for GPS hold and all that crap. Just set up your bird like you normally would, but just set this up on a UART 
So it shows up on your OSD. That is all you're after. That way, when you do crash and you can't find your fucking bird in tall grass, type in those coordinates into your cell phone on Google Maps and you can literally walk right to your bird without seeing it, without hearing it, without having a Bluetooth on there, without having a beeper, without motor beeper. Bam. It works really well. I crashed one of my drones. It was on iNav, but it's the exact same principle. This is a long time ago. I crashed one of my birds about four blocks away from where I was. And it actually, and I had no fucking clue where this thing was. I literally did that. I took, when it crashed, the battery got disconnected, so there was no beeper, no nothing. I literally typed in the lawns and lad into Google Maps and walked to within, at that time, I think it was two feet of the bird. Freaking awesome. 10 bucks, four fucking wires, guys. Don't go out and buy those fucking dog whistle, where the hell's Bardwell's pants fucking model finders. It's stupid. Get one of these, especially if you're flying, even if you're flying a micro or, or even a, like say a Mocha JJ, something like this, fucking perfect because it's only five grams. This thing will lift five grams all fucking day long, obviously, right? Um, and this is a lot harder to find. <laughs> so, or any type of canopy bird is perfect. It's mounting it under solid carbon fiber, eh. Like I said, you probably could get it in those holes there underneath probably get reception but in this case i just popped on top so you guys could see it um and it works you know i'm just gonna leave it there i don't care um ten dollars can save your three hundred dollar four hundred dollar whatever however hundred dollar bird it's worth it and it works it totally works like i said if you don't want to wait for it to heat up or do the hot start just start flying even if it says 0000, zero, zero, zero all the way across the DVR, it doesn't really matter. Within about 20 seconds, you're going to get those numbers. And as long as you're recording DVR, you're fine. Just don't lose the fucking bird in the first 20 seconds of the flight. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to put up the screen recording of how to set this up. It's stupid easy. And then I'm going to throw in a little DVR footage at the back just so you guys can see what it looks like in the screen. So I'll talk to you later. Hope this helps. Bye. All right, kids, it's this easy. So hook up your copter to Butterflight or Betaflight, whichever your flavor is. And I've already connected the Griff light. Um, hit connect, very simple. All right, go into advanced, always enable like expert mode. Go down to ports and enable the port that you wired your GPS into, the UARTs, okay? In this case, is case it's UART1. This particular GPS is 57600, but if you set it at auto and hit save and reboot, it should automatically uh, detect the baud rate. So hit save and reboot, bam, that's done. Go down to configuration, Let's scroll down to GPS for navigation and telemetry. Click this on, select U blocks for this particular GPS we're using. Auto bods fine. Auto configs fine. North America's fine. Doesn't matter. We're really not using, I mean, set it up like this, um, but we're not using ground assistance and all that. Hit save and reboot. Then go down to OSD. And here we go. Go down to GPS longitude and GPS latitude. Put them where you want them. I put mine at the top. You don't have to do that, but that's what I do. And I also upload digital fonts usually. And that's it. You don't have to do that. this part. Um, but that is all I do. That's all you need to do to get your GPS coordinates in there. So go into ports, assign the UART that your GPS is on, go into configuration, enable the GPS, and then go into OSD and set it up. It's very, very simple. Now, one thing I would be very careful of, when you have GPS on here, you'll have these modes that um, barometer, if you have a barometer, GPS home, GPS hold, do not use these. If you guys want drone type of stuff, you use iNav. Do not use Butterfly or Betaflight. I'm telling you right now, bad things will happen. So, hope this helps. Stay tuned and you will see the DVR footage uh, that has the longitude and latitude. Thanks, kids. Bye.